All right, now first test with the car. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, you know what? I should probably put some guides. Let's do what this base is now designed to do, which is take me up to the suspended base with a car. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back with the suspended mountain base thing with bridges, and uh, today we're going to be working on creating a vehicle lift system and bridge system to actually get vehicles from down onto the ground and to be able to go up and access some of these bridges. I'm thinking I'm actually going to give them access to two different bridges. The one over that direction that I'm looking right now, so we're, that's why I have that uh, pathway over there. We can drive down, access that bridge over there, and then I also want to access this bridge over here because I want to build a garage right in that open area. Unfortunately, the areas over in that direction aren't very open or level, but over here we have a nice perfect flat area to build like a garage for our cars. That could just be like a temporary stopping point if we ever want to go that way. Um, so we're gonna have to build two elevators in order to accomplish all of this and hopefully because these aren't as nearly as high as that is uh, We'll be able to actually do it because remember last time we tried to build a piston elevator that goes all the way from the bottom In the in the valley down there all the way up to there which required about 30 piston lengths But uh, that was a little bit too glitchy for the game to handle so these ones don't require any more than 10, I don't think. So we should be okay as far as lag and stability goes. So hopefully we can get something working. And also I can build them bigger because we're actually gonna be able to do all four corners without too much lag, I hope. So let's go for this episode. I do want to remind you that I am looking for steampunk themed submissions. Things that I can use to decorate, things that I can use to add on to that base over there. We have a blank slate of a platform. I'm looking for things to put in rooms. I'm looking for maybe even rooms themselves. Um, anything steampunk themed. Stuff to add on to, like you know, maybe some gear mechanisms, maybe some pipe, interesting pipe decorations or anything like that. Things that we can use to just decorate this, because uh, I want to take, I want I want this to be a community project as well. So join the Discord. I'm taking submissions in my Discord. You can put links to your workshop submissions in the text channel that is called Steampunk Submissions, I believe it's called. So uh, definitely looking for that. If you're looking for this uh, Discord link, check down in the description. All right, so let's get to actually building the elevators, see if we can do this successfully this episode. I'm thinking that for the most stable elevator, we should have all four corners attached. And I think lifting an elevator is more stable than pushing an elevator up because when you're pushing it up, you're subject to gravity, uh, can't maybe might bend the pistons. But if gravity is pulling down, then if your if your elevator is hanging from the pistons, then you're not going to get any bending going on. The, the elevator is not going to be trying to push back on the pistons. They're going to be pulling, which will just be a straight down motion because of gravity. Um, all right, so here's the plan. This is gonna be our second elevator. So going from there up to there, but our first elevator, it, oh, I left my flying vehicle up there too. Oh well. My first elevator has to come, oh, and I have another one over here. It's okay, I've been leaving this, these things all over the place accidentally. So our, our first elevator has to come from the ground up to here. So, and I think this was like one of the better areas to do it from. So the idea is that you're gonna come, you're gonna drive up the vehicle, into here and you have a choice on whether you want to go this way or if you want to go that way and fortunately this way is straight with the building grid this way was not straight with the building grid with, with the building grid so I had to go at this weird angle which was a little bit tedious to build but uh, it, it, we're, we should be okay so over here I have my test of length this is the 30 piston um, thing that we were using for the elevator and it looks like Nine, maybe ten. These are each, each one of these different sections is ten pistons. It looks like maybe about ten is going to be okay to make a piston elevator here. And I'm also going to try to line this elevator up on the grid so it'll be easier too. Because if I hop down, I'm gonna get my vehicle to hop down here. Whee! Nailed it. Um. So I was going to just go up like right here, but as you can see, this is on the 45 degree angle, which is going to make it really, really difficult to build a nice symmetrical and easy to easy to build elevator. So what I think is if I go more this way, 
Like right here is more of like a perpendicular line on the grid. So we're gonna, I'm gonna build the elevator, I guess in this area here. So first let's see if I have like a flat area right here that my vehicle is gonna be on, I have to get the vehicle onto a flat area. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Hmm. So if I want to get it really close to the mountain, unfortunately it's uh, this area is a couple blocks higher than this area over here. So what I might actually do is instead, I'll extend the elevator out a little bit more and have just like a plank going off. So that way we can have a, an easier to access flat area over here that probably comes out to the road. So I'm going to use this vehicle as my size reference. Before, I had to make my elevators too small for this vehicle because it, it was just too much weight for this vehicle and, and for the size of this thing, but I'm gonna use this as my reference for this particular set of elevators since we don't have to worry too much about the stability. I hope we don't have to worry too much about the stability. I might be eating my own words later uh, if we run into some issues, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so here's the basic size of our elevator. There should be more than enough room for this car. Let's see here. Yeah, this thing can get up on here, no problem. So then I'm gonna have to build each corner up. We're gonna have to figure out high, how high we're gonna have to make it so that it'll meet the mountain. And then we're gonna have to attach the pistons and weld everything. And then hopefully we don't screw anything up after we weld stuff. All right, now for the tedious part. All right, so we have our basic outline, our basic structure or skeleton of the elevator. So now I'm just going to measure how many pistons we're gonna need for each corner. I'm hoping it's going to be 10 or less. So betting on that, I'm actually gonna take this and I'm going to delete 20 of the pistons off of it. So we're only gonna be left with 10. And then we're gonna see when I weld this over there, how high this is actually going to go. All right, so all I have to do is take this end here and then this is a corner right here. Now if I press this button, let's see, oh, let's make sure is everything extending, yeah, everything's extending. Now let's go meet it at the top, see where we're at. Um, whoop, it's, it got caught. Uh, hold on a sec, I gotta have to, gonna have to do some percussive maintenance to this thing. I just can't get at, wait, why is, oh, there, there we go, and come on, there we go. All right. Wow, that is almost perfect. Are all of these actually extended all the way? That's like 10 and then a couple of blocks. Whoop, or we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we're gonna have to do here because I think technically this might be actually too short. We might need one more. Now I'm going to make a 25 block high landing area. You know what, let's just go with 30. We're gonna make it a nice even 30. So that way we'll have a little bit of wiggle room with it. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna have our first test. We're gonna find out the exact number of pistons that we're gonna need. Um, Cause the, the weird thing about this is we actually have to attach the pistons to a base and then weld all four corners at the same time to the elevator. I can't just put one set of pistons on each corner and then weld it to uh, a base because I have to do all, the, all that stuff on a lift. It has to be one single object before I weld it for it to work. All right, so that is 10 is that 10 pistons? I think this is 10 pistons. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the way I have it now, 10 pistons at max length is not enough. So we need, what if we attach one more? All right, moment of truth. I don't think it's gonna make it. I think we're gonna have to have 12. Yeah, actually, unless... Wait, one thing I didn't look at is how tall, when this thing is, comp oops, wrong button, when this thing is actually compressed, I need to make sure that it, it is above this line right here. Let's see, and okay. All right, you know what? We might actually be able to work with this. Yeah, because now if I have this extended down to, right down to there, so if I have a platform that is completely flush with this here, now if I extend it down, does that platform reach the bottom? Oh my, oh, I can't, really? It's literally a one block difference? I'm gonna have to add one more piston, just... Oh no, it's perfect! 
It's literally perfect. All right, this is actually gonna work out okay, I think. All right, we got our measurement. So now I'm just going to delete this. And then I have to delete this. Whoops, all right, I need to add one more piston on top of that thing. Oh, it got caught here, okay, perfect. Theoretically, if I copy this and then put it on four corners of a platform that matches that area, then we should have an elevator that is fully ready to go. Now all I have to do is make a platform that is the perfect size down here to fit into this area. So in order to do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it like this on one block. That way we can detach it easily. And then we just have to fill in this entire area. So this right here should be the platform, whoops, that we need for our elevator. And we have to attach pistons to each one of these each one of these quarters. All right, now we just have to make sure that they all fall over. Bloop, 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 like dominoes. All right, and let's just weld this to, oh, let me see what side is the thing on. Oh, I should actually mark that by doing this. All right, this is just gonna indicate to me which side the logic gate is on, because I want it to be somewhat symmetrical. I want all the logic gates to be on the inside. There we go. All right, so now I should be able to just weld the bottom. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So now we just have to make sure that we hook all of these up. Right, I'm gonna have one central logic gate right here and this logic gate is going to be, whoops, I just realized I did that the wrong way. I gotta make sure that I do in the right direction. All of the wires have to go out from this logic gate because this logic gate is gonna control all four Pistons so that way if we ever need to do some remapping or whatever Or readjustment of my switch locations All I have to do is attach them to this logic gate rather than all four of those All right, so now let's attach a switch uh, I'm just gonna put it I'm actually gonna put the switch on the right side over actually none of this is technically the right side I could choose any side I want. Let's just pretend that this is actually you know what? Let's pretend that this is the right side There we go and if I attach that there, pressing this button should make all of the arms go up. Okay, excellent. All seems to be in working order. Now, I have to weld this up there. So let's save it first. The good news is it's not lagging at all, whether it's on or off the lift. Okay, here we go. Now I just have to get my weld tool so I can reach this thing. It's not gonna let me reach it, is it? Oh, it's too short. Hold on a second. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. So if I do this right, this, please let me do this right. This should weld right. There, did it work? Okay, one thing I forgot to take into account, we're gonna have to probably add some assistance, maybe something that pushes it up after it gets up here because with weight on here, these pistons are gonna contract all the way, but where's the button? The button I think is over here. Oh, see, this is why, this is why that button's gonna cause us issues. Actually, you know what we should do? We should have this part open anyway. We don't need this. We do not need this bar right here. All right, so now if I press that, we should go right down to the ground. What? That's not right. Something's not right. You know what? I think the top piston got unhooked. We might have to rehook up the top piston. Please let that. Yep, yep. See, there's the issue. There is the issue. All right, we already broke it. I, I screwed it up. That was my bad. Um, hold on. Hopefully, can we go back down okay? All right, we seem to be going back down okay. I just, I need to access those other arms over there in order to adjust those pistons because now our pistons are all uneven. This is terrible. All right, just please don't fall, please don't fall. All right, all right, now I just need this to be 15, please. Okay, and now I need the other one to also be 15. All right, don't fall. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to hook that one up. I. I I set the right distance, but I didn't actually hook it up to the logic gate. Come on, this is the last one. There 
there we go. All right, now we should be exactly where we're supposed to be. It looks like almost there. We're gonna to, we're, we're probably gonna add some guide rail assistance to this thing as well. Uh, let me get my hammer out, see if I can nudge this thing. Nope. All right, let's see if we can go up successfully now. Everything should be in line now. We shouldn't get any more catching. But you know what? I probably should have one more block clearance right here just in case we can avoid any of these things catching. But there is the issue of weight. Let's try it with a vehicle. We're gonna do our first vehicle test. And I have a feeling it's not gonna get us high enough to actually get up onto the platform, but we're gonna find out. Let's see if it's e Why is it doing that? I gotta admit this thing isn't as stable as I thought it was going to be. Why is it tilted like this? What's going on here? It should not be off center. It's totally getting off center, but I don't know why. Everything should be fine. All right, going back down. Please don't be off center. Please don't be off center. Why is it doing that? All right, well, uh, let me try to drive my vehicle up on here anyway. I mean, it's a pretty high vehicle, so we might be able to do it. Just hopefully it doesn't break anything. All right, and there we go. That wasn't bad. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's go ahead and press the button over here. All right, we're going up. Going up. All right, what's happening now? It's getting caught over here, really? Wow, this weight is, a, is an issue. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of those guide rails entirely, entirely it looks like. Go ahead and detach these. They're kind of pointless anyway. And we'll get rid of these ones as well. All right, yeah, that helped. That actually did help. Okay, so yep, here's the issue now. So I'm probably gonna have to push up the elevator with something else. Let's see if we can drive off anyway. Here we go. Eh. Hey, it kind of worked a little bit. All right, we got something going on here. We got something going on. And you know, I'm actually just gonna add the guide rails onto the elevator itself. And this will hopefully give us a little bit more protection from, uh, from falling. All right, now let's see, now that we got rid of those side rails, let's see if we can go down without getting caught this time. Let's see what happens here. Are you gonna be straighter? Why? Why does this happen? What is this? What if I put angle blocks? All right, I didn't land the whole thing with them, but just a few hopefully will be enough to get some of those trouble edges out of there. All right, come on. Oh boy. All right, and we're gonna have to put some in the back. Yeah, we're gonna have to put some in the back. That should help too. Okay, please. Let this be a help. What a truth. Okay, it's it's closer, but it's still not perfect. Why doesn't this settle in and all the way down? Is there something? To, is there something under there? Did one of the things I, I do? Did one of the did one of these things get? Oh, is it is it this corner right here? I hope it's not. Oh, here we go. There's a block right there. Oh, is that the culprit? Is that the entire issue? How did I not see that? This might be it. Th that might have been the entire issue. Let's find out. Oh, <gasps> look at that. It works now. I can't believe I didn't notice I had a blo an extra block there. All right, this is this is great. This is great. So now I'm gonna make this look a little bit more nicer. We're still gonna use the angle blocks as a little bit of a guide just in case we do need them. Um, but I'm gonna do it in a bit of a, I guess I'm just gonna do it in a bit more of a symmetrical uniform way. And hopefully it'll also add to the kind of like steampunky, maybe spiky feel. Uh, Cause like studs and spikes are also kind of steampunky. So maybe, maybe this will help with that kind of aesthetic. There we go. All right, so now we have them all symmetrical out there. Let's get rid of this thing too. All right, so now let's do another test with the vehicle, which I left up there. So we'll call the elevator back down. 
See how it does again. And perfect. And we'll ride it back up. I'm actually gonna put this switch, whoops. I'm gonna put this switch on the inside. There we go, and hook that up to there. All right, let's get our vehicle. This time we're gonna drive the other way. Let's go ahead and go this way, turn around. Woo! That was really fast turnaround. <laughs> All right, we drive onto the elevator. There we go. And I wish I could like press a button from inside the seat, but I guess it doesn't really make sense. Whoop. All right, we're good. We're good. Get in the vehicle. Get there we go. And yeah, it works. The guy, the little wedge guides actually put it in. So then we can come on down like this. All right, this is actually kind of starting to work. And I think what I also should be able to do is uh, I'm going to extend this out a little bit so that way we have like an extra step here. All right, and I'll use some wedges on this as well. Wait, why did that just come back down? Why did it, what? Did I see what I just thought I saw? Wasn't it already down here? And did I just see it come back down? That was weird, I don't know what I just saw. I saw something I shouldn't have seen. So here it is. You have a little bit more of a smoother entrance. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of frameage, a little bit of frame droppage as we get onto the elevator. But it's all looking okay, except for the fact that it is a little bit off center. It's a little bit forward. I don't know if there's a way to fix that. So if I had a front guide, then it's gonna block the vehicle. But here, let's press the button, let's ride it up, see what happens. All right, we got our frames back as we're going up. It seems like, oh, I should probably put, I should probably put some collision checkers or some, some collision buffers on the bottom of the elevator so that way when it hits the, the platform down there, it's not gonna be as bad. All right, and then we could just drive off here. All right, and I just gotta make that smoother. That's the only other thing is just to make that smoother. All right, but let's add some of these if I add these down here, hopefully this will help us prevent some collision uh, lag from happening. Getting down to the bottom. Oh, nope. Looks like it's not the collisions, it's actually the uh, the interaction between the vehicle and the elevator is what causes the lag. Actually, oh, yeah. No, it's actually, it is a little bit better. It's a little bit better, but it's not perfect. All right, so I think I'm gonna start working on the second elevator. Uh, I think this one is pretty much a success so far. There's definitely some tweaking that needs to happen though. I might add some like guides that help it. I don't know, there, there's a couple more things that I wanna do to make it a little bit more stable and a little bit easier so there's not gonna be that gap right there for us to go up on. But next up is this elevator up here. So we're gonna have to make an elevator that goes up to this area, so let's actually spawn in right now. We're gonna spawn in the tenor, the, the ten pistons. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there, press the button. Let's actually put this one on 15 as well. Put that up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and climb up and check how many pistons we're gonna need for this particular elevator. A lot less for sure. So we are at... I'm gonna say that, oh, yep, I'm gonna say that many, so we don't need these ones. All right, so how many is that many? So let's go back down, press the button, and then we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pistons. So this should be even a more stable elevator. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. Uh, we are about to weld, we're about to weld this elevator, the, the second elevator onto its point, and I hope everything is going to line up okay. This one I think we might hopefully have a bit more freedom with. Okay, good, good, good. So this one is actually by default one block above. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, bring this thing down. Let's see how far this goes down, then we can make the final adjustments. Looking good so far. All right, so now let's see how many blocks is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven blocks. 
Okay, I guess eight blocks was the appropriate amount. But this actually gives me a chance to, I'm gonna put some screws underneath here. Okay, all right, I think we're pretty much good. And I'm gonna put the same thing on this. We're gonna go ahead and give ourselves some of these little wedge pieces to help us get on here. All right, now first test with the car. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, you know what? I should probably put some guides. This one doesn't have, doesn't have any protection <laughs> around it, unlike the other one. So yeah, let's definitely do a little bit of that. Here, I'm gonna call it up, and then we're gonna put some guides down here. All right, that should make it a little bit more stable, except for the fact that I did not put a callback switch down here. <laughs> so I gotta go back up and call it back down, and then I'll hook up the callback switch. All right, and down we go. Let's see how it goes. All right, nice and settled. Now I can hook this switch up to that as well. So let me just make sure that that works. All right, excellent. Now let's drive our vehicle up and see, is it more stable now? Yeah, much more stable-ish, except it goes forward a little bit. You know what? What if I just add one little tiny block, like right like this? Is that? You think this will help? Will this be good? Will this be a good thing? I think that'll be a good thing. Now let's see what happens if I drive up onto it. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good thing. Okay, here we go. Now, the vehicle test. See how this thing does with the vehicle. Doing well so far. Okay. And it looks like it, yeah, it has us just above it. So this elevator is actually way better and I'm gonna have to increase that ceiling probably, which shouldn't be an issue, except for the fact that those are welded to the ceiling right there. But I can increase it on the inside. All right, and then over here, we are going to have our steampunk garage. So that's actually something that you guys can help out with is um, not, only the, not only the steampunk base, but think about steampunk garage kind of thing. What, what kind of things might you see inside of a steampunk garage? Even, I'm not even sure how I want the doors to work. What kind of like, I, it might be interesting to do like an interesting, uh, a, a cool little door mechanism. So we should see what we can do with the doors as well. Leave suggestions for that. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be working well. So what I'm gonna do now is let's do a full run through of both elevators as if we were actually wanting to get up, ooh, that is laggy there. If we were actually wanting to get up onto the base, and what is that, what is this little thing doing here? We do not need, do not need that there. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of my rear wheel steering. That's just a little bit too much. All right, so, let's actually do what the, <laughs> almost, almost fell off there. Let's do what this base is now designed to do, which is take me up to the suspended base with a car. All right, so here we go. We're driving around in a little car here. Oh, 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 oh. We're driving around in a little car here. And I said, I, mean, I, I wanna go home. Let's uh, let's get ourselves back into our suspended base. Uh, nice, awesome steampunk suspended treehouse base home. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I didn't lock this in at all. Let's do that. Man, I wish it didn't lag when the vehicles got on here though. So we're just gonna add one block there, there. Uh, let's try this again. Hmm, I wish I could go home. I guess uh, I'll just drive my car up into this elevator here. Don't mind the frames. Oh, don't mind the frames at all. It's even worse than before. It's probably because I have another elevator in here. So once the car settles down, we should get some frames back. All right, and up we go. There's our frames. I guess it's just the combination between the elevator, the car, and the ground. All right. Now that I'm up here, let's go ahead and drive up to the next set of elevators. Well, let's not fall off either. That'll be good. All right, and here we are. And then I'll just hop out and press the elevator button. I, I should hire a, I should hire a, uh, an elevator operator. That way I don't have to hop out of my vehicle every single time. All right, going on up. There we are, and then we can drive on out to the bridge here. Hop out of the car, and we can walk across our nice uh, suspended wooden bridge. 
and approach our soon-to-be steampunk treehouse base thing. So yeah, that's we have a successful uh, car set of elevators so we can get our cars up here. Now all we need is a garage and a cool looking base. So don't forget to join the Discord so you can submit your steampunky creations if you want a chance to be featured in the Scrapman suspended tree house steampunk mountain bridges elevators base thing. And if you have any other suggestions for what you'd like to see in this series, let me know down in the comments below. This has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.